Hey and welcome to a really quick video on creating secure administrators and secure passwords on Palo Alto firewalls. Okay, so firstly we're going to see how quickly we can do this. So firstly we're going to set off under the setup under management and under here if we scroll down we're going to find minimum password complexity. Just going to have a look at some of these settings. So minimum length is 8. So if we wanted to say as well we wanted two uppercase letters, two lowercase letters, two numbers, and at least one special character. So we're going to block the username in the inclusion, uh, block username inclusion. So it's basically saying, okay, so if my username is this, <clears throat> can I use this now as my password? And be no. And then we have the functionality requirements. Um, these so basically, as you, as you can see here, so a new password differs by characters. So many print password reuse. But this will be, that can be overridden by password profiles. So what we're basically saying here is that the, the password format requirements are a global thing. Uh, the functionality requirements are global, but with the, uh, the ability to override it locally within the password profile. Okay, so we've created our, we've created our minimum password complexity there now. So now we're going to go and create our password profile. So our password profile, we already have one for uh, our, our users. So this is going to be our new users, spelt correctly, new users. We're going to say we want our users to change their password every 28 days. We're going to give them four days for warning. We're going to give them post expiration admin login count of uh, two. So the, if they need to get on quickly but forget to do it, they can do it again. And then a, a grace period. That's good. So that's going to be over one day. Okay, so that's now created. So our authentication profile. If we're going to create an authentication profile, we could create local users, we could create user groups, but we're just going to create our, our uh, administrator. So we've got admin role. The admin role, as we saw before, in other videos we've done, and I'm sure you've seen it, is basically, okay, so what, what privileges is our user going to get? Well, we're going to give them all the privileges um, because they're just an ad admin user, So, but we're going to have XML API, and we're going to pull the... REST API, because we don't want that, and we're going to give them a command line of super user, and this is going to be our new profile. Okay, so our administrator now is going to be our new administrator, and we're going to roll this all up in one go, so it's going to be our new administrator. The authentication profile is going to be none, because it's here it's in the password so we're going to now we're going to create our password but as we can see because we've globally um, selected the password requirements we can see now that we have a minimum password length for eight uppercase characters lowercase characters numeric characters and special characters so i'm going to create a password which i believe straight off the bat will work don't judge me if it doesn't okay that's all good and then the administrator type is going to be dynamic super user. We've given them super user CLI access anyway, so that's the, the what we're going to give them. Um, so we could give them super user, super user read only, device administrator, and device administrator read only. These are dynamic roles. These come with with um, Pan OS, or we can go role based, which is the one we created previously. So we're going to use our new profile there, and our password profile is going to be the new users profile. Click OK, and click Commit. And so now we have we have our user, and we can see they've got a custom role based, the custom role based administrator, and the role that they've got. We know the role they've got is um, the new profile role under there, new user, new profile profile, new users for the password profile, and we know they're not locked out. So that user would now be able to to log onto the device. Okay, so now that's committed, what we're going to do is going to log out of this one. I'm going to log back in with our new um, administrator. And now it's given us password change required. It's because of another global setting. So the password that we've 
We have to put in our old password because the user has to change the password on first um, first joining. Okay, been logged out. Okay, now we've got a ministry session with our new user and we've used our new password. And just because I didn't show it previously, I'll just show where that setting is for the um, for the change password on. Okay, so again, it's under device, setup, it's back in our minimum password complexity, and we can see there that we've got required password change on first logon and that's enabled. And that was why that was there. Okay, so that's creating an administrator with a secure password uh, profile, minimum password complexity for everybody that's using um, local administrators configured on the box. Um, and that's in, in, in under six minutes.